Hello, I am DS Productions 19, and this is Let's Play Minecraft Episode 4. Last time we finished, or I finished my fort, and I think it looks really cool. And it's nighttime outside, and there's a bunch of zombies out there. I hear at least two or three. Yeah. When you're above ground, um, or when you're in an above ground shelter, you hear the bad guys a lot more often. See? There's one of them now. I don't know if he can hurt me. Like, through the door. Oh, he's pushing me, but he's not hurting me. That's funny. They're probably very mad about that. <sighs> well, I'm definitely not going to be running outside anytime soon. Um, so I'll just have to wait. A few minutes. Well, I guess there is one thing I could do. But I should keep some cobblestone with me. I'm getting a bit of lag. Oh, I heard the sound of a skeleton. It was quiet though, so it's probably far away. Okay. I broke a hole in the wall, and, like, hoping they would get close to it, but they're going to the door instead. <sighs> I just had to find some zombies with manners. Um, I'm getting a lot of lag. I really don't like lag. Especially in Minecraft. So, I'm going to stop for just a second and see what's going on. Okay, I'm back. And it's turning daytime outside. So I guess putting all my stuff away just became pointless. And that right there just proves that those trees mess with the lighting a lot. Yeah, they only catch on fire if they're directly hit with sunlight. But, yeah, so I'll just go and do what I was going to do.
If you were wondering, I was actually just planning on breaking a hole into, into the wall and attacking the zombies and everything from through that hole. So, yeah. Um, that zombie out sky, outside is scaring me. Afraid he's on the roof and he could jump down at any moment. I don't want to have to um, actually turn around and waste time closing the door, so I'll build this. This is a pressure plate. When you step on it, it creates an electrical charge, which can be used to do many things, but in this case, I'm going to put it right next to the block where the door was on, and it will open the door when I step on it. And then when you get off, it'll wait one second, and then it will turn off, basically. Uh, this way I won't have to turn around and close the door behind me in case I'm being chased or in case there's something above me or something. But I'm not going to put one on the outside because I think monsters can activate them too. Whoa. Anyway, um, I think monsters can activate pressure plates too, so I don't want want them to be able to walk on the pressure plate and then walk through the door. Anyway, I'm just going to continue with what I was going to do afterward. As I described in episode 3 at the end of it, which was kill a bunch of pigs, get a bunch of meat, And hopefully get a bunch of cows as well. I only see pigs right now. Except besides a creeper. I see a creeper too. He's up there. I never would have seen him on normal circumstances. Uh this is that little protective fort thing I said I was going to build around my spawn point. I just thought, why not build it now? Because I'm already here. <sighs> so, just be pointless not to. I mean, because I just prefer to be ready for anything and then nothing happen over ready for nothing and then anything happens. And the latter is more likely to happen in Minecraft. Like the second thing I said is what I mean. There's a bunch of sheep. Talk about them in a second. I'm last to my lax last block of cobblestone. So I'll just move to dirt. Cause dirt's fine. It's not affected by gravity. That's not supposed to be there. Yeah, this may be a little bit boring, but this is a just-in-case scenario. And I just want to be prepared. I'm putting a bunch of torches on the top of this because I don't want anything on top of this 
especially not a creeper without me knowing. <sighs> I thought for sure I was, I was going to get hurt from that. But, don't want it there. But if a creeper were to be in here for some odd reason, or be on the top, and then I didn't notice, there's my spawn point, I'll just end up in that hole. And I didn't notice that they were there. Then I'd be in some very bad trouble. Because then they would jump down. And blow up. Which would A. Kill me. And B. It would break this thing. Wide open. And that. And I'd probably die a bunch of times that night. Sheep, you don't actually have to kill. And it's actually better not to. Because then they can just keep on giving you a bunch of cloth if they don't disappear. See something over there. I think it's just another sheep or not. No, it's a cow. That's good. Found a cow. Yeah. That tree just made me thought it was nighttime for a second. That's how weird the trees affect the lighting. They make everything on the screen in Minecraft Dark instead of just I don't know instead of just casting a shadow over your character it just makes everything dark there are some really big trees in this world there's a pig Pigs are always nice and welcome. Oh, cool. It's a pumpkin. Let me just show you guys... Wrong button. Let me just show you guys pumpkins real quick. They're already cut. So it's like a jack-o'-lantern, sort of. You can put them on, and you see through the holes. Which looks really cool, but it um, messes with your vision. And it doesn't actually help you at all. Like, when you put on armor, usually, uh, you won't see my cursor. But under, or right above the hot, hot bar, on the right side of it, there, there'll be another thing that looks like a health bar. But it's actually um, something that shows you how much durability your armor has left. And since the pumpkin isn't armor, it doesn't have that. Where'd the pig go? Aw, oh, man, it died. And it didn't give me anything. There's a cave. Ooh. Coal. No, I, I can't. Oh, there's the pig. I can't get that coal. It's too risky. Way too risky. I need that meat. And yes, now it is turning nighttime. Although, it's not the worst thing that could happen because I know exactly where to go. So, I'm not actually freaking out. Which is what usually would happen in this type of scenario. And now the pigs come out. That's just not fair.
I can last another few seconds out here. Of course, I say that and then I get attacked by a bunch of monsters. I'm going inside now. Right there. Okay, I'm safely inside. And I am pretty much out of time. Uh, I really wanted to show you what you could do with meat. I got a lot of it. So, that's really cool. I guess I'll just have to wait till next episode. So, next episode, which will be number five, I'll show you stuff about meat and what it does. I really would have showed you um, stuff about armor and leather. But I didn't get any, because I didn't see any cows, really, which really stunk. But I, I got a whole lot of food, which is really awesome. I'll also show you what you can do with, with pumpkins, more in-depth a little bit. And then I will start Mineshaft number one. So, I'm Deus Productions 19. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.